Hi everybody, welcome very much to my YouTube channel. Once again, we have game number three out of a best of three, counting for the Elite Classic 2 group stage, group A, if I'm not mistaken, let me correct that real quick. It is group A indeed. And we have in the purple color, it's Puppy Paw 1, representing his individuality, playing as a Chinese, versus Louis MT in the color green, playing as the Holy Roman Empire, and this is Frisian Marshes, the map with too much food and too much resources. But it also it's very scattered, so you have to risk your villagers to go out into those resources. So we have the Chinese versus the Holy Roman Empire. Back in the day, this matchup will be hell for China because HRE could just counter everything that China did. They did it first and they had the men at arms, China palace guards, and they will just lose, right? But now it's different. I think Chinese, because they can make Imperial officials from the Imperial um, Academy, for, that just gave them so much more timing. They can do things differently, but it's going to be hopefully not a very long matchup. There is a potential to be a very long matchup. Both of these civilizations are very eco-focused, but the Chinese can be more aggressive. And we can always have the crazy Burgrave attempt from the Holy Roman Empire. By the way, guys, if you enjoy the content, leave a like and subscribe. Your support is greatly appreciated. Follow me on Twitch using the links on below. Also follow Puppy Paw and support the tournament organizers using the links down below. No, no, the tournament does not end tomorrow. The tournament, the group stage will be this weekend and the next weekend and the next weekend and no, this weekend and the next weekend. Then the playoffs will be the next, the weekend after that and the weekend after that. We have a lot of action. people as a Chinese going up with the Imperial Academy. Louis MT coming on with uh, nothing so far. Aken Chapel coming through. It's a good spot on the wood, on the sheep. Gold and stone will be very tough to do, right? Very on the front line. Two gold spawns very close to each other as well. Doing good here for puppy. Mil and chi. Peer on Academy, online. How many sheep? 13 plus the dead ones, that's a lot. And for our Holy Roman Empire player, that's not much. Let me check. 17! They were hiding in the town center. Sev Ooh, that's a lot. 17 sheep. That's a lot of sheep, brother. That's a lot of sheep. If I ever saw a lot of sheep. Akron Chapel going up. Puppy Paw is ahead a little bit in terms of tempo, but what will they do? Will they go second TC? No. Will they go fast castle? Also no. Will they play feudal? Zuganu Rush! It's gonna be Zuganu Rush. No? Yes. Supervising the meal over here. Akan Chapel only now finishing a bit late. 42, 40 minutes, 40, 4 minutes and 20 seconds. And 30 actually. Almost 5 minutes. We also don't see Barbican coming in. Second Imperial official. Hmm, what's the strat for Puppy Paw? I don't see no indications. A lot on wood. That more on wood. That tells me a Barbican now. Because he removed people from... Yeah. Barbican on the deer and berries and water. 
into a Zuganu rush? Because of so much people on wood? But Louis can go to castle way faster than you can do the Zuganu rush. And spam knights. Or man at arms with fully upgraded. Oh no! Look, bro, they're building the barracks there, so it's hard to scout for Puppy Paw. Is this for now? It is! Man at arms rush for Louis. Puppy Paw. Second town center. Uh oh. They didn't scout that barracks. They're going through now. Do they have vision? They don't see that's why he built it there. But people has no idea. But people has no idea about that barracks over there. He has no idea about. Oh, there we go. First man at arms. Uh, it's only one. It's only one. Huh? So just for distractions, just to be like, "Ooh, I'm building man at arms." You have to respond to this because Louis clearly going castle now. Spearman? Barracks Spearman? Puppy Paw is reading the situation wrongly. Man at arms is here. And now Puppy Paw knows. It should be like, oh shit, he's making man at arms, brother. Second TC under the barbican, kinda. Good position, but it's late. Seven minutes, and Louis going castle. Oh no, this is not looking good. Not looking good for puppies. No gold. He has no gold available to him. This is not good. He can always collect taxes. Two hundred taxes over there. Seventy-eight taxes over there. He's going to be. He's going to be the Ragnitz Cathedral. Villager fixing the house. You need to. You don't want to spend more wood. Oh, but you don't need to fix the house. You have plenty of housing on the village. Villages. Right? No, now he saw the barracks. <laughs> no, but now it's obvious. There was a man at arms, right? All right. What's the plan for Puppy Paw? Can always go there, right? Oh, the spear! Ah, oh, because of the barbican. The spear might win. There we go. Spear won. Okay, back to gold. Quick, 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 quick. Back to gold. Back to gold. Age up. Age up. Age up. Age up. Quick. Ragnis is here. Here we go. Stable in the back. Or maybe Puppy Paw saw the stable. I don't know where the when the when the stable was built. Maybe Puppy Paw saw the stable and he thought horseman. But then Louis built in secret the barracks over there in the corner of the forest, and said, "Man at arms, right?" Okay, I think Puppy Paw can edge up soon. He's the, he's indeed using a lot of food. On the Song Dynasty, it's 200 food per minute. Because it's two town centers. Every 15 seconds, you, you use 50... No, it's 400 food per minute. Just for villagers. Right? Where, where are you going? Walling off the relics. Alright. Spear at... Oh! Nice! He gets one prelate. He's getting this. The knight is there. But wait, there is still. So that's one relic. Two relics. Three relics. The other two are being brought in as we speak. Where? Where? That's one. And. Uh, we should be. And that's another one. There you go. Two relics. Three. Because that one was also. Oh, okay. He's looking bad. But people going really ahead in villagers. Oh. 
You should, uh, if you could, just activate that board. Oh, I, I hate this. I hate this. When the scout just stands in the way of the wall and you can't build. Like, the villagers should be there anyway, and the scout should get stuck in the wall. That would be funny. Wororo. Distraction, wororo. Puppy Pot tried everything, but he couldn't. Oh, Spear's gone? No, it was close, it was close. But they are not gone. Astronomical Clock Tower coming up. People, a lot of villagers ahead. 25 ahead. But the enemy with three, basically six relics, right? Because of the double value. New Age begins. Good walls here to protect the deer and the fish. What's the plan for the Chinese now? Nest of bees coming out. Crossbows coming out. No food though. Does the transition there. Spears fighting men at arms and knights. Spear into the outpost safely. No way, Lu is already going Imperial. Bro, I don't understand why there is one civilization with cheaper Imperial Age. It makes no sense, why? Because this should be a comeback mechanic, but Lu is not coming back, he's ahead. And now he's even more ahead. And now, he's gonna lose a relic, but that's not too bad, he's gonna be able to pick it up. Will we reach the Imperial Age? But they, they don't have a lot of eco. They don't have a lot of food. They're being raided. Oh, they want to put... Kinnon emplacements on the outposts. Alright. Or just go for keeps, I don't know. Two sacred sites for puppy. For uh, Louis, am I bad? Nest of bees chasing them down. When the go down, and now they'll be able to stop it. Only three units, and there are three prelates for Louis. Puppy Paul must seize this time. He must seize this time to do damage and make sure that the Imperial Age hurts Louis instead of helping. Go, 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 kill that prelate. Well done. Outpost. Can an emplacement? No. No. No 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 emplacements. I don't like this HRE play style, but it's in the it's in the game, right? Where they just fill their base with towers with cannon emplacements. But it is what it is. Oh, burning on the market. Smart, because you know they have relics, they will buy food and be like, no. No market, no buying. Oh! But a manganel is being built as we speak. Nice nest of bees raining down. Uh, kill the siege workshop. He doesn't have enough units to burn it down, right? 
fourth relic coming in. Is that the Chinese keep? It is! Oh, puppy boy, so much more units. I think Louis shot himself in the foot with going Imperial. Can an emplacement? No. Mangrel being destroyed by the nest of bees. Look at that. Oh, there is a cannon emplacement there. Invasion! It's a Chinese invasion into the Holy Roman Empire. Papi Paul is 30... More than 30 villagers ahead. They're chasing down the, the Mangrel is back to full HP. Ooh, they're kind of throwing units away. Keep is being finished. Ah, that, ah, bro, I hate this. Bro, this should be more expensive or cost population. These free units, and they do so much damage. And they have more range because of the relics. Right. Another outpost. Because basically it just makes the game slower. And we don't want that. We want a more entertaining, engaging game. Still, people with more units bring in the traps. Three traps. Is he supervising a siege workshop? I think it is. Those are not clock tower traps. No, that that is. That is. And that whoa! Actually they are our clock tower. Manganel, Manganel, double man no, that's a bombard. Manganel wasn't working! Manganel wasn't working! Also, emergency repairs should cost as well. Resources shouldn't be for free. Right? Louis lost 20 villagers so far. Villagers moving out to the deer here from Louis. Bombard working the keep. It's a Chinese, it's a Chinese keep. They, 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 they repair fast. We need more than one bombard. Ah, no, because then puppy will run out of stone faster as well. Boom. Four. <laughs> Four trebuchet. Here we go. But the culverin is here. And it can one shot siege. 85 plus 60 versus Siege. No, actually, it does not one-shot the traps. It two-shots the traps. Yep. Ah, where are, you, where are the villagers going? To burn the... Um, the culverin. The boy is hanging on. But the Shwabia keeps working. Ragnitz is going down, and then there is no gold. No, there is still on the outposts, right? I mean, if you should, if you lose the Ragnitz, you should lose the, the bonus. I think I think it doesn't work like that, but you should. Merchant Repairs is going down. Oh, Louis is grabbing wood. Right, he's, he's not going to have a lot of food to work with. Villagers rip, and the thing is, Louis can th kind of throw villagers away because of Schwabia, right? Oh, bro, these kidding name placements are so unfair. Remnitz goes down. Outpost goes down. Yeah, it still works with the extra gold per minute. It shouldn't, in my opinion, but... Ragnitz is down, no bonus. Okay, the boy is actually playing a lot of pressure here. He's super ahead on villagers. He killed 30 villagers as well. Town center is going down. Still 5 traps working. 32 units. Louis is making more units. Elite men at arms. Emergency repairs comes through. More bombards coming through. We need more sprinkles. That's mm, too many spears, I think.
Manganel, Core of Guard. Then crossbows in Q. Spring of moving up. Can kill the bombards in the back. Culverin, that's a good target. Kill the Culverin. Culverin goes down. Town center goes down. Only two landmarks to go. Push, puppy pop, push! Defeat the game style I don't like. That's a meal for the Chinese. I'm sure they have no farm transition. Oh, the, the bombard? Mm. They two shot the, um, the traps. That's not cool. So many units. Oh, this is so unfair. Bro, Louis shouldn't be still in a position to contest the game. He lost so much. Right? But he has broken relics, broken Schwabia. Right? But, but Louis is killing villagers, but it doesn't matter. Because of Schwabia, right? Not Louis, but people are killing villagers, but it doesn't matter. Crossbows are here, though. To kill the men at arms. And the keep is still alive as well. Still four traps. I'm getting frustrated with how is Louis still in the game. Right. Okay, Puppy could kill more villagers there, but good protection from Louis. Villagers running away. Oh, true! Puppy Pop could have had both secret sites by far. He, he could have won already. I'm sure he could have won already with the secret sites. I mean, maybe not. I don't think 10 minutes have elapsed. But he, he could be very close to winning right now. And the keep is going down, Sedge. Yeah, also, I think the Springles should to shot the Bombards, but they don't. It's so slow. To kill the bombards. And the ish. Bad stuff. Bad stuff for Puppy Paul. So much effort. Oh, bro, this is so unfair. Oh, bro, this is so unfair. This is hurting me, bro. This is so unfair. H, H already needs a rework. They have so unbalanced mechanics. Emergency repairs. It's cheaper Imperial Age, Palace of Schwabia, Ragnit. Spamming bombarding placements in their base. I, 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 I think that's really unhealthy for the game. But the boy is strength production, which is good to slow down Louis. I think the boy wants to go to Imperial as well. Traps going down, uh, good work though. Because then the men at arms they take no time to make, they take 23 seconds, so we can make a lot of them. Ragnit is not up yet, but the TC is. Let's go, great, great wall gatehouse here. Ooh, Bobby Pod has no eyes here. He has no idea. Can they see because of the sacred site? He can see! He's not looking at the minimap! No, he's moving units! Uh, no, he's gonna be on time, he's gonna be on time. He's still putting up the pressure. New age begins for Papi Paul. Veteran horseman, no elite horseman coming in. Bro, how in the world is Puppy Paw is Louis getting close to Puppy Paw Econ? This bro, this is so unfair. It's so unfair. Okay, nice defense from Puppy. Eight minutes to go. 
Great Wall Gatehouse taking care of that one. A keep or two should take care of this one. Villagers moving forward. That's a lot of them. Oh no, that's not <laughs> that's the remains of the old keep. But people are still applying pressure over there. Nice. While he does his things, he's making the enemy occupied. No, kill the villagers, uh, Springle. There you go. Uh, the keep is going up. And then the thing is, yeah, Luke, he can throw villagers away. That, that's another very unfair aspect of Schwabia. One, the, the player that has Schwabia, they can throw villagers away. The other one can't. I mean, but people kind of can. It's, it's also about the price. Because it's cheaper on the Schwabia, right? Getting an emplacement here now, so it's going to be very annoying to deal with. Keep nice keep here on the front line. We need th those goddamn Chinese bombards. Increase attack speed of bombards by three by thirty three percent. Haha, people building a tower there just cause. Gotta move those wheels. Gotta move it. Oh, he's attacking the keep with units. Can't get any ears. No boiling oil. So, yeah, you can kind of do it. Only six wheels inside. No boiling oil. So, it's actually okay. Six minutes until Sacred Science victory. But Louis is still in... The, uh, and remember, not only he, he has... A villager printing machine, he also has more valuable relics. So, he's actually ahead, even though it doesn't look like it. If, I think if Puppy Pod does not win with Sacred Sites, he doesn't win. Because he sacrificed too much. He used too much resources. For a player to have just broken mechanics in its favor. But enough of ranting, here we go. Puppy Pod bringing more hit. The keep is still up. My god. It's on fire though. So it will eventually go down. Villagers on the run there as well. 5 minutes and 20 seconds to go. Bombard making its work. Uh, but people need something here. To protect the sacred site. I know he's mining stone for the keep. He lost so many villagers there, but he's killing so many villagers too. The boy's pop capped. Killing more villagers there. It's looking good for Puppy Paw. Let's see if he can finish the business. More siege workshops. GG! Let's go, Puppy Paw! Yes! Punish this trash game style, bro. I don't like it when people... And it's not Louis. It's not Louis. He's like, he's not the only player. Every p p person that plays HRE plays like this. Not every person, but 90%. And I, I hate it. I think it's bad for the game. It's bad for viewership. But it is what it is. We... We... <laughs> Quote-unquote, we win. Quote-unquote. I didn't do shit. I was just watching. Let's go, puppy paw. Well done. See... 40k food versus 20k. Similar amounts of gold. GG, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. See you next time.